At Vibra Finance, we seek out the hidden gems in cryptocurrency. We will tailor your portfolio to work for you. Are you ready to transition your investments from traditional markets to cryptocurrency? Are your coins staked and earning interest? Are you overwhelmed with all the jargon in crypto? Is your portfolio underperforming and you want to reposition into consistent winning blue chip coins and viable projects? Do you feel like you missed out on DeFi, Metaverse, and NFTs? Here at Viber Finance, we provide you with the data, skills, and tools you need to stay on top of the digital asset market. Viber Finance, we are the future of crypto. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Viber Live. And man, if you don't know, the DJ and Charizard is in the building. And we had a successful relaunch, successful move over to uh, base. Just the amount of scams on DJ and Chain and us being an actual real project over there that I'm trying to build just wasn't really the fit. People, volume was dropping like crazy. So base, it's so easy for noobs to come over. Coinbase is like a chosen one, I think. So hopefully it works out. Hopefully you guys uh, get involved, get in, um, into the giveaways. A pack is already going out to our first winner tomorrow. So exciting stuff to come. And also, even bigger news. What the? Wait a minute. Where'd Coach go? Hello. Oh, man. I, th I thought we <laughs> had Coach. Looks Sorry, like guys. <laughs> oh, they all. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I got abducted. <laughs> Here I am. I'm really an alien, guys. So, how's it going, bro? Let's how's go. It you know, it's, it's good, bro. <laughs> it's good. It's 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 uh it's it's not easy trying to launch a project. You know, you try to. Uh, it was not going good on DJ Chain. Volume was dying, so I was like, all right, we'll move over to base. We did the airdrop for everybody. And the bags were worth a little bit more over there. So sure enough, people saw, oh my God, I got a couple hundred bucks. Sell, 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 sell. So we get, want to get, yeah. got to get the jeets out, but it's part of the game. <laughs> well, it's just like, at the end of the day, it does take a lot of dedication. There's a lot of game planning. There's a lot of things that you got to think about, like in the back end that people don't really think about um, in the bigger scheme of things. So it's just like, there's uh liquidity uh, liqu adding the liquidity initially like getting it right and all that kind of stuff and then also just having the people that you uh need to have around you to actually get the job done and get the people to go start talking to other people you know the marketing aspect and then but at the end of the day it's just like you have a dream and you have a vision it's just like sometimes you just Take them around running, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that, that's the nice thing. thing was, is start, you start sprinting and, and running too fast, too quick. You get ahead of yourself, and that's kind of – I don't want to do that, so I'd rather go a little bit slower. I know people are excited and, and antsy. You know, when are we going to went pump, went pump? But it's like when you add, if you add liquidity right now, I don't have enough to just dump you know, 15K in there to kind of stabilize it. So right now it's a little volatile, but hey, it is what it is. Well, <laughs> hold on. Actually, I need to do something. Give me a second. So what's, go what's going on with the uh, the Gray's currency, the, uh, the uh, afterburner ecosystem, burn liquid, 808? Well, well, was before was uh, before uh, we get. Well, actually, yeah. Well, let's pull up the burn uh, uh, chart if we're going to be starting to talk about that. Boom! Let's get burn. Where are we at? So, we like, go. check it out on the poll side of things. It gives a better picture. Yep. You oh, uh, yeah. Oh, always go to polls. Like, you know, and the cool, like, alien tech um, that comes together with burn is the higher that burn amount goes, that percentage, the higher the boomerang or starts running once pulse actually starts going. So 
What am I implying there? I don't know. What a concept. Heart's law. <laughs> we yeah. aliens out oh, here. It, we always have alien dick. <laughs> It's funny, bro. We were trying to tell people last summer about this stuff. And then with P, you know, with P die in a tropa, and we all got laughed at. Oh, it's never going to a dollar. It's not Richard Hart. You guys are just wasting your time. And now, sure enough, P die is like the talk of the community. And we're so far past that right now. And it it's it's great being ahead of the curve and you know, just being able to look back and say, yeah, we're, we've been on the, on the right path with everything, all the research, all the hard work, it pays off. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it's like, uh, when was the, or wasn't our last like stream about, um, P die. January, January, February or something like that. Right when that, yeah, right when that, um, that hex went to uh, ETH POW, I think. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. And basically, it's just, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, really? And then it's just like, look at the chart now. Just like, look at the chart now, guys. Mm hmm. It matters who you yeah. <laughs> who you listen to, where, where you get liquidity. God, this mass is it, got me dying right now, <laughs> but I'm doing it for you guys. It looks actually comfortable. You know? It's actually not that bad. Um, yeah, so I just went live. <laughs> People are going to be now. Nah, I have go. to keep this mask on. Yeah, so I don't Let's know. Go. There you go. All right. But bro, so like, let's talk a little about uh, the the pokey. Like, what what's your dream or like agenda? What's your like uh, blueprint of what what's probably going to be happening moving forward? So, if if anyone doesn't know here, I've been collecting sealed Pokemon cards and sealed Magic cards for years. And like, these are just sealed packs here for like giveaways and stuff, but I got a lot and I I did a couple streams like last summer, maybe 18 months ago about crypto and cardboard, the correlation, the huge boom in, uh, in 2020, we saw a lot of crypto profits being moved into it. And a lot of people don't even know Mount Gox that original exchange was magic the gathering online exchange so it was actually a magic site that turned into the biggest crypto trading site which is pretty funny so you know i there's oh there's always on the internet on whatnot on youtube people that are just tearing open packs of cards of pokemon people are obsessed with it so i've always wanted to have a place where i could open up cards on stream or like, you know, pool money together so we could buy rarer stuff to open, just stuff like that. And what a better place to do it with kind of starting a, a coin and then giving people packs. So holders every 10 days, um, giving out um, one of these booster packs. So it just kind of incentivizes people. And then I really want to do a website that's, like ptgc's that shows charts and graphics of the last like 12 pokemon sets the ones that came out from 2020 to 2022 they're all starting to boom right now so to show how much if you just put um you know a couple bucks and buy a couple of these boxes and just tuck them away after a couple of years they typically two to three x so they outperform almost every asset except crypto and not many people know that and it sounds crazy so I want to, you know, inf let, show people that there's other ways of investing in this stuff with actual um, Pokemon and Magic cards. You could buy them and just put them away and they will appreciate. And I, th I think we all, a lot of us played them when we were younger. We played Magic. We were into sports cards collecting. So when you and a lot of our kids and stuff are getting into it. So once you see it again or you're around it, that itch comes back real quick. Well, this is like, this is the thing. It's like it's such a unique idea. 
that you came together with like <laughs> you're just like all right let's go you know but you're like it's a passion that you have and it's just like you're you're going after your passion and it's just like you you do have the platform and you do have the resources so it's just like <laughs> what, yeah. what's gonna happen and, and that's the, the it's, day? yeah and like that's the thing i don't mind you know giving stuff away and you know once a month or once we hit certain goals or certain levels to do instead of giving a pack away give like an entire box away that's a couple hundred bucks like i don't mind doing that at all like i want to get people involved that are into this that like pokemon so as a collective you know you, everyone pulls money together you could just do more stuff with it and i think i really like that that you did with the uh 10,000 pulse got you a ticket into the uh ptgc lotto so something like that where i could do you know you burn pokey tokens or something and that gets you a ticket and then once we sell a certain amount of tickets we do a drawing or something like that for uh a booster box or a elite trainer box or something like that and then uh, openings too man it's just fun you know if you're opening some of the older stuff trying to get some of the real expensive chase hit cards it, it's fun man and i just see uh the crypto and cardboard correlation and i think it'll start to become more mainstream in a couple of years so what better way to uh get out in front of it right now well i'm back god damn that mass <laughs> i was heating up in there great <laughs> Thanks for the buy-in opportunity when, once we get off stream, guys. Thank you. Oh, dude, see, Appreciate look at this, bro. It. This is what I mean. So someone watching this stream just saw, oh, my God, I got an airdrop. And look, and just came in and just unloaded his whole bag. Is it see, right? Look at this, $700. Yep. So let's, yeah, let's go see. Yep. Yep, he's out. He emptied his whole clip. So there you go. He came in. Four minutes ago, I saw that. So this is the shit you got to deal with. So you try to do something, help people nice out. People. You know, when we did this, when we moved over from Degen Chain, the coins what was like a hundred dollars over there was worth like four, almost four times as much on ETH. So you think, all right, I just got free money. Maybe I'll try to support the community, but nope. <laughs> But that's all right, bro. We'll let him get out. Let him think, uh, you know, it's dying and there's well, nothing here. But no, there's. It's, it's like it's at the end of the day, it's just like when your your network is your net worth, and your network knows a lot of people. <laughs> you never know what happens. Exactly, so. bro. And and that's the thing. I've never <laughs> screwed anyone over. Like every time I get a DM on Twitter asking for help or questions or on stream, I'm always trying to help. So I don't like pick fights. I don't get in beefs and dramas. Like I'm, you know, I don't get trolls. I'm so lucky that in the streams to never have even trolls come in. Like that's so rare right now in crypto. So I'm, you know, I'm blessed. I'd rather have a smaller following where it's, it's awesome people than, oh, I got a 50,000 followers, but they're all bots. Half of them are idiots. Yeah. Half of them are drunk. It's like, Screw that. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, but, uh, yeah, bro. It's a, it's a slow process. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do it the right way. And hopefully we, one of these uh, altcoin gems that we've been uh, looking at or, or uh, getting into the last freaking year takes off. And once that happens, I'll definitely start, you know, funneling some profits and, and boosting up the LP myself. So worst case, it might take a couple months, but you know, we'll get it done. What's that? You don't have a, uh, Oh, Oh yeah. I'm uh vets. I'm streaming this on, uh, a different channel. It's on my, I streamed on the Viber CEO channel. Just in case the uh, thirty-eight followers or something don't know about it, so that that's why you're not a, a mod over there. I can't even get to that account right now, so 
No wrench, Vets. No wrench. You're muted. What else have you been looking at? How's the uh, karate been doing? I haven't been following. Uh, have you been following? The, yeah, it's it's. I mean, the, every single altcoin, pretty much across everything I've had, just got slaughtered. But they have a huge event, uh, the twentieth in Dubai. Luke Rockhold, former MMA legend, is uh, headlining the main event. Mm -hmm. So this is where you earn coins. You know, you take your bag and you bet all of your bag on these fights and the ones you lose, you don't lose anything. The ones you win, you, uh, you know, you earn coins. So it's just a way to constantly add to your bag. So I, I love these events. And then the next one they're doing is at consensus next mm -hmm. month. So it's brilliant, bro. And they're doing an influencer fight there too. Nice. Nice. What, yeah. what, what, what's the, what, what's the market cap? <laughs> or like how high was million. it? It was up how to like to to? 150. I want to say 150. Oh my god, 12 million right now. Holy shit. Yeah, bro. It's 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 dumped hard. I don't think this is right though, bro. I don't think that market cap is right because we're only down three X. Oh no, no, sorry. We're 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 Basically down sixty percent. So I it was like sixty five, seventy million when uh oh, okay. when it was pumping. But these are the opportunities right here, bro. Like right now with karate, like this thing, it has everything going for it. And I think Dana White is feeling pressure, bro. I've never seen him give three hundred thousand dollar bonuses to every fighter like he just did this last week. Because karate, mm -hmm. the fighters, they get paid a lot more and they get paid in the tokens, so they understand these co tokens can go up a ton. And none of yeah. that is an option with UFC. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of unique and kind of crazy if you really think about it. Yeah, bro. Like it it, it solves billion. all the problems. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially for fighters. If mm -hmm. you really think it's about it. It's way more it's interactive. Like, and it's like the fans and it's like, oh, the – the fighters get paid in here, so they're going to sell on us. It's just like, that's what you're signing up for. But there's like yin and yang into everything. <laughs> yep. So the president that took over like six months ago for karate, yeah. he's the uh, founder of the Goat Shed Gym down in uh, Miami. And it's one of the most mm -hmm. respected, well-known MMA gyms in the country. So he actually um has relationships with all the fighters and all the trainers across the ufc so it's not like he's hated he's just some clown like all the real fighters respect him and know him and he's plugged in and he uh bro it, it's got i'm telling you it's one of the projects i'm most bullish on over the next five ten years i could see this really becoming bigger than the ufc because you can't you can't just buy tickets to go sit in the front row like you can at the UFC fight. Like any whoever's got the most money sits in the front row. Karate combat, whoever bets on it and wins and is in the top 100 leaderboard, you get to go. So only the top 100 people that bet on the last event get to go get tickets. And then they, they give them away to other people. So it's just it's a lot more fair. And uh, yeah, bro, I'm excited to see where this goes in the future. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Well, what do you think about the whole market in general, like right now with like Bitcoin happening in about like six days and then mm -hmm. uh, the the Ethereum ETF in China just got passed. You hear about that? Yep. Yeah, they they did. I think Bitcoin and ETF at <laughs> once uh -huh. or Bitcoin and ETH. Yeah, so they're doing both. So when everybody else is in fear, China is just like, all right, citizens, here you go. Grab your bag of ETH. We shot it down. They're at war, but we're going to come in and take the ETH. All the ETH are going to be like, no, 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 no. It's going to be funny. Yeah, dude, I, I, I think uh, my gut tells me we're going to just chop a little bit. And then probably, I don't know, 
up a little bit a week after the halving, maybe early May, will start to really run. I, I just hope I, I just think that the there could be some sort of like banking problem that might stall things out. I'm hearing Tether's gonna get sanctioned. That could cause some problems. So I I'm just I think it's going to be a really rocky road until probably June because that's when Ripple, that lawsuit will be done with. They will be free. They'll have clarity. I think there'll be stable coin legislation then. I think a lot is going to change. I think once that happens, you have that stable coin regulation. I think a lot of stuff that's been built and been working on for the entire bear market will all of a sudden find its way to market immediately. You know, circle probably IPO. And a lot of things are going to just happen so fast. Uh -huh. Well, <clears throat> I kind of think that's going to happen. It's just, it's just going to be a blink. And it's, <laughs> and I feel like that's going to be the same thing with Pulse and Pulse X and P Hex and E Hex. And it's just going to be a blink. And it's just going to be like that. <laughs> and it's just going to be like, bye. See ya. Yep. It's, it's always like that, right? You know, you get, you know, 50 weeks of chopping sideways, doing nothing. And those two weeks, you make all the gains and you got, that's why you have to be in the market. Trying to time it is very hard, especially now this market is like nothing we've ever seen before. We have complete different players at the top. We have brand new, the most sophisticated AI trading bots out there i can't imagine i mean blackrock right now that aladdin program they have it can constantly scans all the social media every single transaction all data in the world instantly and sends out mm -hmm. recommendations for them and that's why they're going so balls deep in crypto because that aladdin program is saying crypto 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 is where all the money's at because they can eat blackrock can make you know, they're, they're in the business to make fees. That That's how they make their money is fees and sales and transactions. So if they have this ETF with Ethereum that comes out where they can take the underlying asset, lock it up and earn 5% yield on that asset while selling paper ETH to all the, you know, the idiots out there that don't know what they're buying. They're now earning 5% on that asset while they're earning all the trading fees. It, it, they, it's like something they've never seen before. It's like, it's just a money printer oh, for I'm, them. I'm, and I'm making and, this much money. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And okay. And, oh, all right. Well, now we need a Solana ETF. We need a Litecoin ETF, a Cardano ETF. They're going to push for every single ETF possible because they can take the underlying asset and stake them and earn the yield. And then all the stuff they're trading, making 2% well, on every transaction, whatever to it DeFi. is. It's all just welcome to DeFi, yeah. baby. There you go. Yep. And that's why it's gonna it's gonna be so bullish for Pulse Chain. The more TradFi starts to take over the mainstream and, and uh, slowly they're gonna take over Ethereum and then move to all the L2s off Ethereum, all the forks, Avalanche, you know, maybe not smart chain, but polygon they're going to start slowly controlling all of them and we're going to be the only option for real DeFi. and i think that's why this the pdi narrative we've been saying it since last summer this could this is going to be the biggest thing for pulse chain and this will be the one thing that potentially makes or breaks pulse chain if richard can pull this off this will put pulse chain in a strat in a stratosphere where nobody else is and when I just look and see what he's doing with the maker guys, with the Ave guys, they're clearly all working together. They're clearly modeling what Richard's doing with what they want to do with making a maker, a meme coin, meme coin tokenomics. So it's worth like 1500 bucks a coin. Now they want to split it down 24,000 to one. So it's worth pretty much what pulse chains worth per coin. And everything they're doing is following Richard's lead. So I think, I've been saying it for four months now that people back in 2020, they or no, 2021, people said, oh man, Richard Hart and Hex created the DeFi summer. We made Uniswap popular. Well, right now with what started last summer with the Tropa, with what you did with PTGC and then Alien and then Sunny's ecosystem, this is the new way of doing DeFi. 
And this is going to transform to all the chains and the way we're doing stuff now with 150 pairs of every single coin with the R bots, that's not on any other chain and it's going to spread to other chains. And I just see us in another two years saying, yeah, you know, the, the DeFi renaissance started, started of the 2024 we, we, was because of whole chain. We, we started the movement, and, guys. Way yeah. Oh, literally, like you, Nine Iron Capital, Hotonomics, Chris from the Verse, um, Sunny. Um, yeah, bro, there was a handful of you guys. Yeah, and everybody put in their unique type of way, too. So that's always good. And also, it's just like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's an unbelievable thought process of the. 45 million dollar market cap and i was yeah it's like at a million <laughs> at yeah. yeah you're cutting out are we good you're cutting out yeah are we good now yeah that's better me? nope you're still doing it can you hear me yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're. Uh, yeah, you're better. Nope, and he's gone. Man, yeah, I, that's so funny because these guys were the ones that were doing the hot, the the digging. You know, I I wasn't. I'm not capable of going on the blockchain and looking at the contract and seeing what was going on before Pulse Chain launched on the test net. So these guys were doing it, and then Chris and these guys would report back on what they found. And I was just like, the whole time, you know, this has to be either Richard Hart or, you know, somebody on the XRP ledger that's working on the new AMM because it's just so sophisticated. It's not a random person. And these guys took so much shit for that. They, you know, they were called scammers, PDOT, they were fudding everybody. They were full of shit. Don't listen to these guys. Stick to the core coins. You're all going to get wrecked. And now the tides have turned. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Are we good? Yeah, yeah, you're good now. Yep. All right, sweet. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I. It's just like, it got so annoying, too. Just like, oh, you're a stupid dumbass. Blah, 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 blah. It's just like. All right, who's right? Me or you? Oh, me? <laughs> Come on. <coughs> Solid yep. Solid X is coming back. I bought that. Yeah, dip. Bro, I, I missed That's it. A nice dip I missed that it. I bought. Nice. Yeah. I Whole bought it. Hard coming it? back. Fifth, like 58. That was a nice buy. What's that? Like BBC is coming back, kind of. What's PLP? What? Right here. Is that a coin isn't or is that, that like the. Um, isn't that the liquidity? Because I see in my uh, when, in my D bank, when I constantly you, get transactions, I constantly get PLP, but I can't swap for it. Oh, Pulse Launchpad. Never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> oh. oh, I like how it brings you to the chart now. It used to bring you right to the swapper. That that was really annoying. Oh, look at look at that coach's candle right there. I'm just kidding. Is that you? Oh boy. You want to know I'm, something? I'm up funny? And down on hard. Um oh like I, I forgot like I bought or uh the the amount of uh diehard that I had I kind of forgot about it and then <laughs> I came back and looked at it I've received over five hundred and fifty five hundred yeah five hundred and fifty five hundred dollars of P D I oh my so God. far ten days ten days what so I like own, so I own like 
I own 0.1% of the supply and I've gotten like 500 dollars. <laughs> now, yeah, imagine that at a dollar. Or anything. So what do you think? Imagine what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna hit a dollar? Like I'm hearing like around November, it's gonna maybe touch a dollar and as like a test, and then it's gonna be super volatile. It might go like a buck forty, might come back down to sixty cents, but within a couple years it it should be um stable. Well, it's gonna depend on the uh the maker sub DAOs and Spark Protocol. <coughs> Can you when explain those sub DAOs a little bit to me? So they're doing they're gonna be doing the same kind of mechanisms um in different communities um and uh kind of like the crypto uh like markets. And there was uh one so if you go to uh Actually, go to MakerDAO Endgame. Okay, so I just wanted to click one a... thing. When you click this this stable coin here, use PDI. Look at look at what the name. Oh yeah, Spark, Spark Pulse, and the other other one that Ave was doing too. They're all the names are like they they go together. Mm -hmm. So. Spark, uh, there is the been, game. Uh, uh, it should be in documentations. <clears throat> um, maybe it's in the blog. No, could be. Um, just go back, uh, go to the just go to MakerDAO Endgame, like on Google's. Yeah, they don't have it on their own website. Let's see. Let's search end game. Yeah. No. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> so basically, what. This is just talking about this start. This plan started in tw the 24th of October in 2022. And this is basically at right after the maker or the founder of Maker Dow was found dead in Puerto Rico. Um, and his ex girlfriend was a CIA spy. So, um, and he sent a tweet. What was, do you know what he was trying to do? Uh, he sent a tweet the day before saying that they're the elitists and politicians and everybody are pedophiles and they have like trap human trafficking in the Caribbean and shit like that. That's what he tweeted the next day he was found washed up. So basically okay. now they have so, the plan. Oh, so, so it wasn't anything to do with what he was building. It was what he was trying to expose. Yeah. So, and basically, okay. what he already built is can can never be taken down. Die can't <coughs> really get poke rugs. What the fuck? Um, but anyways, uh, <coughs> what the end game plan was like the mini goals. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo guys. Yep, that's it's just yeah, like see, that's what it's happens. just like he's, the people just don't get it. It's just like. There's people that are on a stream. Maybe they just want to eat up a little bit more just for fun because yeah. he likes like, bro, well, like these maybe guys like had Pokemon. like this, like throw this. So that 1.7 billion right there, that, that was like worth like $180 on uh DGen chain. So it, I, it was like, oh, it was almost 4X the value. So you go and do that. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? It's like, they don't appreciate shit. They'll just run for the exits the second they can. And it's like, uh, sweet. So it, it's like, yeah. oh, so I'm just going to go add more liquidity so another asshole can just go do that. It's like, <laughs> it's it's hard, bro. It's never easy. But yeah, let's go back to the end game. And let's talk about um, 
So basically, it just ensures the maker core is more uh, uh, resistant to extreme risks, such as regulatory action. Regu- re- regulatory action. So, guys, so regulatory action, they can't freaking get sued. I, the, the, the end goal is to have $100 billion backed by... <laughs> By by like a by, different list of assets, crypto. right? Instead of, yeah, yeah instead of what assets. they're doing now yeah. with assets and stuff. That's yeah, that's awesome. So how are you going to make that happen? You're going to have to have uh, a the liquidity needs to be adaptable between all chains. So it, of course you're going to go on the chains that have the best opportunity and the mo- most potential of have the most liquid. I'm out going forward. So it's just like, but uh, keep on moving down a little bit lower. Um, so it's a sub DAO. So the end game is based on the reg, uh, regulating light or uh, regulating the existing decentralized force ecos uh, systems into a new self sustained DAOs called <laughs> sub DAOs. Hey, can you read? <laughs> My coffin is just yeah, yeah, yeah. screwing me. Uh, we'll have its own un- so each sub DAO will have its own unique governance token, governance process, workforce and interfaces. Sub DAOs are expected to maintain a synergistic relationship with the maker core. Moving much of the developmental operational governance work to sub DAOs makes maker core simpler and more resilient. Maker core of five scopes, one voters. So yeah, so what what the stuff that fascinates me is the, all the the uh, things that Richard did with to moving that eight billion hex to ETH POW because there's going to be some sort of snapshot over there for when Maker does their fork. So Richard is going to have value on all these different chains, and then he can take that value, put it into these lending protocols, earn on top of it, and eventually he can move all that value that he has spread out all all these other chains over and migrate it to pulse chain right yeah yeah but okay scroll down a little bit more i want i want to get to the point where um Um, I go see. next page. Yeah, I want to get to the point where it starts talking about the scroll down. <coughs> oh, this is uh, they have here we go. They have Atlas scopes, governance, sub DAOs, tokenomics, elixir. All right, end Click game launch tokenomics. Right here. Oh, we did that one. Sub DAO tokenomics. Well, I want. Well, I wanted them to talk about the um, the Spark uh, protocol. It's, it's in there in the documentation somewhere. Sub DAOs. Elixir, sub elixir maker. The peg stability mechanisms. Well, regardless, bro, this is this is stuff. It's 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 stuff that's way over my head. <laughs> I just try to get a breakdown, like, like a breakdown of uh, just like simple. Well, it's a crazy. Yeah, the breakdown or like it's like when it comes to crypto, it's just like the cape, the like the possibilities are going to be endless. So, at the end of the day. So, yeah, bro. Just the fact so that what, Ray, what what they're doing, what Richard's doing, is leading the way, and all these other guys, the biggest DeFi protocols out there. I think Compound Two is involved somehow, but they're all working with Richard together. They're they're all following what he's doing, and he's like the visionary for the entire market behind the scenes. And people don't get don't give him the credit. Hmm. It's just like, 
he's literally just gonna have a stream and he's just like hello guys i told you so yet again <laughs> yeah like literally yep. yeah and and every, well is well, what's so funny bro is that i was looking at the prices of the hexes and after richard put that tweet out that put the community up in arms over what hex is better i think p hex has dipped like 80 75 percent or something like that since that tweet mm -hmm. it's well it's so just great. like it's i don't know it's, we're, he's just shaking out the just all right i'm gonna have me tweet sometimes shake you guys out <laughs> don't be emotional So Come we dropped, yeah, we, we dropped down from that tweet. Wait, no, where was it? I said, hold on, daily. Oh, never mind. Never well, mind. E hex well, is down 10. Well, I've been, never mind. <laughs> well, I've been buying it up. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, like, I, I wouldn't even, I couldn't even imagine myself having over like, like I have over, two, I don't know, thirty million e hex now. I would never imagine it having that much, nope. ever in my life. No, bro, never. Two years ago, <laughs> that would you would have been a freaking shark. You would have been one of the, like eight sharks or dolphins. <laughs> like I'm just like, okay, <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> Now I can start doing whatever I want with it. Come going moving forward. Major actually majority I have just punted it out about like ten years. So yeah, my well, like dude, little that, that's, retirement. I've been telling. Yeah, it's it's it's. Now I was telling somebody today that you've got to make your hex stay soon because the t share rate is going to get up to forty thousand, fifty thousand real quick. And by the uh, next bear market, it's going to be over 50,000 hex per T share. So even at these super cheap prices, 50,000 hex per T share, it, it's going to cost a lot. So what we have right now, the with price appreciation, we're never going to see these lows again. Richard being sued, him being fudded, us being gate kept everywhere. I mean, it's nonstop FUD everywhere you look. The entire mainstream looks at hex and this ecosystem as a joke. but um, this is that's opportunity, man. I've made that mistake so many times. I've seen this before. Whenever there's something that's building, it's like saucer swap on Hedera. The decks over there. I got into the pre-sale in March of 2022 when I thought it was still the bull run, and clearly it wasn't. And that coin, it went down 98 percent. The chart looked horrific, but I was paying attention. I was in the community. I was watching what they were building. And it was obvious that the price didn't reflect the amount of building and what's really going on. And sure enough, as soon as things started happening, the coin did a 20X and everyone was talking about the decks all over. But nobody wanted to touch it. I couldn't have gave it away for an eight-month period where I was talking about it on stream in 2022, 2023. And now all of a sudden, it's a different story. Everyone wants it. And it'll be the same thing with Hex, same thing with eHex and all the coins that are down in the dumps right now. This is when you buy and you load up. You don't go chasing stuff that's pumping, that's green. That those are gains. You're at somebody's exit liquidity then. You want to be buying the bottoms of stuff when no one else is talking about it. You know, Sologenics even when XRP settles, they just moved 550 million XRP out of their escrow account after some uh settlement meeting with the SEC, so that could come sooner than later. And when that happens and they have full blown clarity and there's there are these uh, enterprises and these businesses are allowed to start tokenizing these assets and putting them on the XRP ledger. That's what it was built for. The DEX, Sologenics that we've been talking about forever, is going to explode. And it's like 15 cents right now. The chart, it's dead. And that coin's deflationary. How many? Nobody knows that. It's the only deflationary DEX out there besides PulseX. And people are sleeping on it because these are the opportunities and you know they're, they're the ones that the, those opportunities when people reach out to me or do consulting 
or one-on-ones. Those are the type of projects I steer them towards. And a lot of time they don't want to hear that. They want to hear how can I make the most in the fastest amount of time, but that's going to get you wrecked buying the best quality projects and owning them and just waiting for your time to come. Cause everything pumps, even the coins that were dead to EOS will pump again. Tezos will pump again this cycle. So it's only a matter of time. You just don't want to sell the bottoms and just get antsy and like impatient and say, ah, oh, man, you know, I'm holding pulse chain right now, but all these meme coins on Solana are pumping. Maybe I'll just move over there and double up and then move back over. Every time that ends up in disaster. Well, it's just like, it's going to be like, it's time, time will tell and anything. And, <clears throat> but it's just going to be a fun ride up or down right now. It's just uh, like, what, what, what goes up or what goes down must come up at some point in time. Like people just, <clears throat> the Bitcoin happening is what? Five days away? Five days. No, it's on the 20th. seven days. What? Oh, no. Five days. Yeah. Yeah. Do I need to say three shows on screen. No, three days and 22 hours. So it'll be on 420 in some places. Yeah. Three days. So, so four days from now. Oh, yeah. So it'll be like nine o'clock, eight o'clock uh, p.m. on Friday night. Having party. Let's go. <laughs> well, when, when are we going to do a stream like the verse? Um, Google God, you, me again. You got to get all the, the, <laughs> the gang back together. I'm down whenever, bro. I'll I'll stream whenever. Yeah. I like say you just got to give me a couple hours heads up, and I'm down. <laughs> yeah, we need to fi- we need to figure that out. But bro, I I gotta go because I I gotta put the the little kiddos to bed. But what 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 last words you want to like say to everybody about like poke and <laughs> oh, what you're no, feeling it's, about PGC? It's and... just getting started. Oh, Poke is Pilkey's just getting started. I mean, obviously, you can see people are just they found money and they're just dumping it. So, once these people start exiting, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to just load up liquidity in there or even incentivize people to right now, which is kind of an unfortunate thing. You want to get it pumping, you want to get it going, but maybe I, I screwed up doing the airdrop and was a little too generous. And I just thought. Since it was a small community, everyone was pretty much in the Telegram. I didn't think people would be dumping like that. So, you know, like, well, it'll mm-hmm. it'll be a little bit shake the weak hands out. I'm gonna have a website built, so that'll be really nice, kind of like well, the PT. Well, you remember? One. Well, you remember Burns airdrop, 808s airdrop, Liquids airdrop. You know what they did with all that? <laughs> Aliens airdrop. Here you go. Here's free money. And it's like, yeah. mm-hmm. sell your free money. Yeah. It's not going to help out the project yeah. at all. Like, no, come on. Yes, it will. If you understand mm-hmm. hard law, yeah. it's just like, yeah. But anyways. Um, yeah. And uh, we're going to try to build out a uh, an A1A b2b ecosystem around pokey on base so i think that will uh that will really help once that's up and running in a, in a little bit and should help hopefully keep a floor get those bots going and yeah mm-hmm. bro definitely learned a lot having a front row seat to ptgc that's for sure well i'm here that's why i'm here support support another brother that was supporting us back in the day. What, what you were like, what day, what, how, how what, what price did you get in PGC? Uh, I got in October 11th. So it was, it was, Oh yeah. It was, I want to say like 40 or 40 or 50 K. Yeah. It was like day two. Yeah. <laughs> and it was by well, accident, October. bro. I was online late just looking at the coins that were pumping on pulse chain. And I was like, Whoa, the golf course, let's see what this is. The golf course. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah. And then, but, yeah, bro. Appreciate you coming on. Yeah, man. Pre-
appreciate you coming in. I don't know. Gosh, I, I need to do this math more often. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> was that? Did I look like an alien? Did I surprise you guys? So I don't. Dude, know. It, that's it's actually it's sick. I'll tell you that thing is sick looking. It does look good with the with your little UFO like, behind you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I picked the perfect thing. Yes, yes. All right, brother. I'll talk to you later, man. All right, bro. Thanks for coming on. We'll talk to you soon. All right, fellas. That's all I got for tonight. I'm going to cut it Cut it now. So if you guys don't know, DJ Charizard is on base now. And I think it's the, the place to be. It was just so hard getting over to, uh, to DJ Chain. It wasn't hard, but getting back and bridging back over is a seven-day wait which is insane. I, I don't like that at all. And you know, I, I work with people all the time. People are always asking me what coins I like. And when I was telling them where to get it, and, and especially being my own project, when people were giving up and not wanting to go over there, I kind of knew it was a problem. So migrating over to base, I think, was the, uh, was the move. So give DJ and Charizard a follow on uh, Twitter. I got the new YouTube page set up and I got to wait like one more day to stream over there, but I'm going to be doing giveaways guys. Like I Pokemon cards, sealed magic cards, sports cards. I've been collecting them pretty much my whole life. Like the last five, six years been really going heavy into it. So I think once uh, people see the, the vault and what's in there, it, it'll bring credibility to it. It'll show you that I'm serious. And it's always been something I wanted to do is have a platform where I can open up some of the cards I have. Or if people want to, you know, get in on some of the openings and three people, we each open up a third of the box and then I can ship the cards out or whatever. I I'm look really looking forward to doing stuff like that. And like the vintage stuff, it's so much fun when you see guys, they'll all pitch in and buy like, uh, you know, a couple old packs of 19 uh 87 fleer or whatever it is to get michael jordan's rookie card so it's exciting people love it so i'm going to build a uh, a website platform that has some kind of dow has a raffle system in there a lottery system and then yeah just you know the community's been very helpful with ideas and and tips on what to do so appreciate all the support Definitely give these a follow. We need to shill them out there because this thing, it's not just like a pump and dump meme coin. You know, this thing is going to hopefully hit the firmament. Just give it some time. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.